Father, please don't leave. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't do this. I'm sorry if I have sinned. I didn't mean to. Please. My old nightstand. Mother said they threw it away. There's a matchbox inside the drawer. I can now try to light up the room. Hey, where are you? Mother, I'm in the basement. For God's sake, don't get seen in that place. Get out immediately. I'm still waiting to hear the prayers, son. What are you waiting for? You put it there? Why would you do that, Yoda? It's his behavior that did that to him. He was good all day. He helped me with the wheat and the food and... And he talked to a kid at the funeral. When did this happen? I, 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 I didn't see him. Of course you didn't. Because you don't care of this family. I do. I should lock you all downstairs. You all need to learn. Where is she? Where is our daughter? There are at least a dozen matches inside the box. <laughs> help! Mother! Help me! You silly. What are you doing? It's me. I I'm sorry. I, I thought you were that witch. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Witches don't exist. And it's just the two of us here. Why are you here? I heard father talking to himself before going to get you in your room. So I ran here and hid. But why? You know he's going to be very angry at you once he finds out. Because I've promised I wouldn't let you be alone in the dark again. And when I promise something... You never break a promise, I know. I'm glad you were here. You're wrong! Father would never lie to us! About what now? About the witch that cursed our bloodline! He's just trying to scare us with stories so we don't do anything wrong. And today you did wrong, so he punished you by locking you down here in the dark. What did I do? I, I still don't understand. You talked to that tall boy. Don't you remember? We are not allowed to talk to other people anymore. They are evil. I thought that meant we must avoid adults. How am I supposed to make friends then? Mother said we have each other in God. She's right. I don't think we need anyone else. I can't forget our aunt's white face. Me neither. She looked so different. Her head was so bloated and pallid. And her eyes and hair, so dark. The curse did that to her. Don't be ridiculous. She's at peace now. That's all that matters. I hope she is. Your aunt was once such a beautiful woman, full of life, a perfect creation of God. But her faith was nothing more than a Sunday morning rite, and the witch's curse just a fairy tale story. Evil is everywhere, my dear children. It is hiding in the shadows of this world. It takes form of animals, and it possesses people. 
father, please forgive. You should look up to your sister. Unlike you, she values God and this family. It's my fault he went to talk to that boy. I ignored him because I was looking into the coffin and I lost sense of time. You must learn to be alone with God. You must learn. You all must learn what true faith is. Ah, I beg you, don't hurt him anymore. Oh, uh, it was just a dream. I often think about that peculiar day, but I've never relived it so vividly in my dreams. Why now? <laughs> Why in this place? I... I need my glasses. I can't even think without them. The fabric is full of moth-eaten holes, though too small for my glasses to have fallen through. Ah, here they are. Fallen to the floor, but still intact. Thinking of the dream I had, I don't remember going to sleep at all. We came in, and then... We came in, Victoria and Nikolai went upstairs to prepare for the castle, and then... nothing. I must have fainted. I have to talk to Victoria at once. This woman eerily reminds me of Victoria in her younger days. I checked it last night. It's useless. There's not enough oil inside. Is this meant to represent a basin? Like at the entrance of a church? This is blasphemy. That's not holy water for sure. It has a weird smell. Looks disgusting. I'm staying away from it. Nikolai? Yes, Benedict? Where's Victoria? I don't know. Do you have the slightest idea why Victoria rented this dreary house? I don't even know how she found it. Looks like the owner is some kind of artist. Or is at least convinced to be. Very morbid taste. <laughs> Strange figures. I agree. I've never seen so many masks in my life. Especially not placed on walls. That's a strange painting. It is. Take a better look at it, and tell me what you see. Why? Please, do as I say. I'll get to the point. That is not a mere shadow. It's a symbol of darkness, of evilness devouring this lost man. A snake-like mouth implies a man who cannot be trusted, at the very least. Mean eyes at the edge of a wicked soul. I've taken a closer look at the painting. You don't recognize this man? I've never seen him before. And nothing happened to you by looking at him? Why would anything happen to me? Last night, after your sister and I came upstairs, she was getting ready for the castle, and I was standing right here, and... I wonder, yesterday when we boarded the train, was anyone else in our cabin? You haven't answered. Why would anything happen to me? What's wrong with this painting? I don't know yet. Please, just follow me as I go over yesterday's events. I'll get to the point. 
just the three of us. But once the train left Budapest, wasn't there a man who came in? By placing the sign, Do Not Disturb, on our doorknob, I made sure this wouldn't happen. The only time that door opened was when the conductor peered in to tell us we have arrived at our destination. And when we left the train station, no one was following us? Didn't Victoria notice him? Notice whom? Your dear wife was over the moon to have finally arrived at Sveti Kotar. She couldn't stop talking about the place, but said nothing about anyone following us. Right. And on our way to the house, we stopped at the square. There was a strange ritual taking place with a gigantic effigy. What was it like? And what about the mass of hooded people that gathered there? It was a dreadful scene. I remember the goosebumps when hearing the crowd pray as one voice, though. Let me tell you what happened after that. We found the path which led us to this house. What happened when Victoria knocked? Well, we realized the door was actually ajar. And the owner wasn't here. Just silence. Dead awful silence. Uh, it gave me chills. Once we entered the house, what did you and your wife do? I said it before. We went upstairs to prepare for the castle exhibition. Leaving me to wander alone downstairs in complete darkness. You found nothing odd about the house being empty and unlocked? I did, but Victoria said it's nothing to worry about. So I just followed her. We never went to the castle? You don't remember? Victoria dragged me into this town to make me attend that piddling exhibition in the castle. We never went there, did we? Which means I left the monastery only to spend a horrible night in this house. The last thing I remember is searching for a light. And then nothing. What do you mean? I mean, everything after was only a dream. But I don't even remember going to sleep. We both fell into an inexplicable void. <sighs> Something is terribly wrong here. Tell me what happened last night. What's wrong with this painting? And where's Victoria? I'm afraid I don't have the answers. What happened is that while I was waiting for her to get ready, my attention was drawn by this painting. Next moment, I was seeing myself relive yesterday's events with one difference. The man in the painting was there the whole time. The whole time? He was in our cabin. And he was that gigantic effigy the inhabitants set on fire. Shortly afterwards, he emerged from the crowd in human form again, unchanged, and then led us towards the house. Once we got here, he jumped on my back and asked me to carry him upstairs. I was happy. I felt like a father carrying his own child. Carrying this being on your back must have some weird symbolic meaning. He was holding so tightly that I could feel his long, sharp fingernails penetrate my throat. After we finally got upstairs, I was so upset and in pain that I had to throw him off. I quickly turned around to reprimand him and instead saw a human-sized crow with no eyes and a blood-stained beak. It croaked at me and then soared inside the painting. I wanted to run off, but couldn't. I was in shock. Too terrified. That was the moment I woke on the bed, fully dressed and disoriented. Victoria wasn't here. Why did you ask me all those strange questions about yesterday? I had to separate the dream from the real, as the dream was startlingly real. Startlingly real, just like my own dream. We should leave this accursed house at once. After I woke, I noticed Victoria didn't even sleep on this bed. So I went downstairs to check if she was there, perhaps. I found only you, still asleep on the couch, and the door locked. That's when I started to think. We have to force our way out of here because we don't have the key. We are guests in this house, and needless to say, men of God. We must leave without doing any damage. I've already searched this floor for a key, 
and tried to open the balcony door. But it's locked or stuck in some way. What about the windows? Strangely enough, or maybe for a good reason, they are made in a way that prevents them from being opened. Stay here and give it a second look. Whatever you can find that could help us. I'm going downstairs to check. Force should be our last resort to leave. Or maybe we get lucky and Victoria comes back in the meantime. Let's hurry up then. Just don't look at the man in the painting again. We don't want to risk anything. sun is setting. Darkness will be upon us soon. It doesn't look inviting, but I think I see something in there. Codex Neva, Heart of Pagubice, and Dino Tominich. I've never heard of these works. I need light. I'm pretty sure it's not locked, but rather just stuck. Not sure what's the cause, because both sides of the door are heavily grimed from the outside. A yellow blanket, wrinkled only on one side of the bed. A giant bowl made out of clay, filled with what seems to be some type of oil. All I see here is a lonely coat rack. If we don't find a civilized way to get out of here soon, this rack could come in handy to do it by force. like mud and has a sickly odor how did it end up on a balcony if i could push it back with a stick or something similar i might be able to open the door forgive me god but i must take this i think it'll fit perfectly under the balcony door was right. It fits perfectly underneath. Looks like there's mud on the outside. That should be enough to open the door. My god. Nikolai, come upstairs quickly. You must see this. Coming! Come closer. Take a look at this. Oh, 
God. What is this? It looks like a mixture of earth, blood, and flesh. A rotten wooden stick. I don't need it. All crows look exactly the same to me, but this one seems to be missing its eyes. Indeed, just like the one in your dream. Have you noticed these marks on the door? They were unnoticeable with the door closed. I don't think these are just random marks. It's a symbol, and it looks like it was made by sharp fingernails. You understand now why I wanted to leave the moment I saw this house? Calm down, Benedict. I am calm, but we both don't remember what happened here, and we both had horrible dreams. And now this. Can you still smell that sickly odor? Don't you see the connection with your dream? Maybe I opened the door last night and saw the crow's head. It could be the reason why I had that dream. Doubtful. Something else is at work here. The crow looks like it's been recently decapitated, and the mud is still wet. Don't you wonder who did this? And why? I can't think clearly in here. I found a key inside the stoop. The key to the entrance door? Inside the stoop? I believe so. Haven't tried it yet. At least I won't have to walk over the devilry on the balcony, and risk an injury by jumping below. You think Victoria could be responsible? If it wasn't you, or even me, who else could have done it? The man from the painting? I knew it. Come on. You really think she's capable of such a thing? What's the matter with you? She may be my sister, but I don't know her anymore. I do know she's playing with things she doesn't understand. Things she doesn't understand? Things no one should understand. The symbol. The decapitated head. Blood and flesh. You mean, with occultism? Witchcraft, I believe. She's playing the role of a witch to play with me, unaware of the consequences that will inevitably come. My wife is not a saint, but to think she's practicing demonic things is insane. You think she made us forget last night and influenced our dreams? No, but she's the one who picked this house. Not you, and certainly not me. That was a deliberate choice with a plan. And what would that plan be? I think the castle exhibition was just a lure. Her real intention was to drag me into this town to play with my beliefs and fears. You really don't know her anymore. What happened between the two of you? She doesn't want to tell me. She became the same person our aunt was. Godless and incredulous about our father's words. Hopefully he's at a place where he found peace. Unaware of my sister's thoughts and acts. The key I found downstairs is probably the key of the main door. You already revealed your suspicion about the key. Why are you mentioning it again? If the key is here, where is Victoria? I don't know and I don't care. She could have locked the door from the inside, left the key, and then jumped from the balcony. That's my point. It doesn't make any sense. Why would she do that? I think she found a second key. Because no footprints are visible in the mud outside. She didn't jump from the balcony. Something else must have happened. Let's go outside and make a plan to find Victoria. Our minds are being suffocated in here. No, I've had enough of talking, and I don't intend to search for her. I'm leaving this town at once. You can't just leave. She's your sister, for God's sake. She stopped being that a long time ago. Just look around and think about everything we discussed today. I'll say it again. Something else must have happened. There must be a logical explanation to all of this. Why did you even agree to come here? Obviously, I wanted to see and feel what it looks like in hell. I'm not in the mood for joking. Why? She mentioned she had to talk to your superior in the monastery. And what else could she do? After I declined, the only way to have it her way was to persuade Father Imre. He must have given her his blessings only because of the assignment he had for me. Talk to the local priest about the town. See, there's nothing in the official Vatican archives about Sveti Kotar. And after coming here, I think I know why. Can we go downstairs now? I have a train to catch, and I need to find that priest before then. I'll accompany you, my brother. It's a small town. 
we should be able to find Victoria along our way. My passport. I've already read it several times. Before we step outside, you have to promise that once we find your sister, you'll talk to her. There must be no arguments or secrets in this family. Why do I have a feeling you are not leaving with me? Can't you reevaluate your decision? I'm leaving, Nikolai. We never planned to leave the next day. Didn't she tell you? This house was rented for three nights. She did not. So much about having no secrets between us. Please, leave me alone. Good day, gentlemen. Good day, sir. My name is Martin Mostov. I am a detective in the service of the town of Svetikotar. How can we help? Is there anyone else inside the house? No one. It's just me and him. Why? Where's the woman? The house is empty. What's going on? We came here looking for a woman, only to find two scared men. And who's the man in your company? Dr. Eric Hatur. Doctor? Mr. Hatur, is somebody hurt? Dr. Hatur is the warden of the asylum. He helps the local police force with his knowledge of the mind. Not a man of words, Dr. Hatur. He prefers to keep quiet, just like your friend here. Are you looking for the owner of the house? Because we don't know where she is. Hand the key of the house to Mr. Hatur. Why? Just do as I say. I see hatred and malice in his eyes, even though I've never met this man before. The key. I'm sorry. Did you say something? I heard nothing. Are we free to go now, Martin? No. You both have to follow me. Why? Yes, I'd like to know as well. Why do we have to follow you? Orders from above. How can we trust you to be what you say you are? What's with the face? You never seen a photo of a man with an intact head? It was taken before the incident. Where are you taking us? Down to the police station where everything will be explained to you. What prevents you from discussing the matter right here and now? I'm not in the position to do that. There's a hierarchy I have to respect. Who is the woman that you seek? The woman's name... Uh, the woman's name is... Uh... Victoria. What for? Why do you need her? Uh, sir, uh, everything, everything will be explained to you in the station. Now, if you don't mind, please follow me. Whatever harrowed you through last night, It'll be nothing compared to what will happen if you do not obey. I obey no one! Where's my wife? What happened to her? You know something about last night, don't you? We don't know! <laughs> Enough! Calm down. I'm calm. You shattered my walking stick. I'll make sure you don't forget your stay in Svetikotar. Welcome. Take them away. Yes, Mr. Warden. 